Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation, a silver emu for you. That's right, it looks like the Perth Mint has released another coin uh, to their Silver Bullion series. And I don't know if this is going to be a one-off or, a, or a, a, an annual release like the Swan. Seems like the market is oversaturated. I first saw a video on this from Perth Mint's uh, website late last night. And, uh, and then this morning I see there's already two videos out, at least from those that I'm subscribed to, Silver Wolverine and Losing Louie. And they were debuting today, apparently. This is the Australian Emu, limited mintage of 30000 and from Losing Louie's video, when it posted, they were priced at $31. And now they're up to $36.76. And uh, so who knows what it'll be like later this afternoon or evening. Is My guess is the price will increase even more. You know, and it's just that I'm, I'm not about making that kind. To me, this is too, costs a little bit too much for a coin that's it's pretty attractive. It's kind of a neat design there. But uh, there's just so many things. It almost seems like we're oversaturated with these kind of better bullion pieces with a somewhat limited mintage. And will this go by the way of the swan, where there's some premiums out there, but how long will they hold? Um, who knows? Is this considered a bargain? What will happen? And, you know, that's not really reason, my reason for collecting these kind of coins. It's because I like them. You know, this, this thing... Um, it could come out in proof and be priced pretty pretty high um but if i get one it because it would be because i enjoy the coin not necessarily to speculate on what the secondary market's going to hold for the next year or i don't want to feel compelled to buy it uh this hour because next hour it'll be bumped up of to $42 or what have you and, uh, you know, the fear of missing out comes in with these kind of releases. And I just don't think people should be compelled to um, um, make purchases because of that. And I do think it's it's uh, certainly not illegal, but I do think it's, it's uh, I don't know, when I, when I don't want to say the word unethical because Atmex certainly has the uh, full right to charge whatever they want for these coins. But to throttle the price up, you know, I believe is is kind of um what's the word it's it's unfortunate i'll put it that way that they feel compelled to do that my guess my feeling is they should price them and then when they sell out they sell out if they sell out and who knows if these will at thirty thousand mintage and uh, but they could uh, but the higher they make the price the less likely people are going to want to buy them if you pay by credit card you're paying almost forty dollars um, and, uh, so it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's, it's kind of a hit or miss type deal for me. Um, I missed out on the swans and ended up paying, um, a higher price for them later. I ended up getting the gold one, but the gold one's not doing that well, um, in the secondary market. And I kind of thought it would, that was part of my reason for purchasing thinking. And this one could call, could completely fall flat on its face. And, uh, you know, unlike the swan, it's, it's a gamble out there. So if you do make a purchase of one of these, buy it because you like the coin. Um, I wouldn't buy it because of the hype. Um, and it is an attractive coin. I do like it. But for me, this price is a little bit too much for me. And, of course, again, next hour, it'll probably be up to $42. They've already started to throttle this thing up. But post your thoughts below on this piece. And uh, what do you think? Are you a buyer of the Australian emu? And are you getting all of the ones? They have the kookaburra, the koalas, uh, the swans, emus. Who knows what's next? I bet you they'll do a silver platypus. Who knows? Anyways, post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.